going to take another exploration. There's a lot of different ways to pilot the universe. Fly your solar system around like a spaceship. What have you. A lot of different ways to get... New... <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Keep dropping my phone. Onto my... Onto myself. My ends of my fingers are numb. Because I just did some killing. I only did one killing. And I explored the, the, the surface of Mars. If you let the algorithm start to play things... You, you put the autoplay on. Now, find your best news source of the most blended news of, of interest that you have. Now, me, I had uh, the Jessica Morocco show, which was kind of crazy. She used to have really good ones where they would uh, regress one of the girls, and they had all this crazy... Um, Crazy astral traveling, interacting, where they were seeing a lot of the nefarious shit that the Hollywood people are into. A lot of creepy Lady Gaga going around. You know, these Satanists, they're into all kinds of shit. But it's mostly on that astral level. Not doing all this, this crazy shit on the physical plane exactly. Because there's a different layers of reality. I And I heard, I caught Peter. Peter they were talking about this new... Artemis shit. And they're using some other technology. We, we see in a rocket, of course. But it's they're not getting up there with the rocket. <coughs> Peter says it's the Artemis system. I don't know what the fuck he means. I don't pretend to know what that means. But I, I can understand that we see the rocket go up. We think, okay, we know we understand what's going on. That rocket's making escape velocity, getting out. But he's highly suggestive that there's something else going on that he calls it the Artemis system. I, that interests me. So let's go forward. Yeah, then that, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. This rug I had really tied the room together. Well, we need one more, though. I need the backup, guys. Were you listening to the dude's story? Donnie, you have no frame of reference. The frame of reference is one of the terms that they use about our limitations with light speed. So yeah, nothing can vote go faster than light. But when you adjust the reference frame from this to that and that to this, you actually can. So let them bullshit you. No, we, you never, we never have the beginning story. There's always a Walter out there. Shut the fuck up, Donnie. You're like a child who wanders into the Walter, middle of a movie. Walter, what's, the, Walter, what's the point? There's no reason. Here's my point, dude. There's no fucking reason why these... Yeah, Walter, what's your point? Walter, what is the point? Look, we all know who is at fault here. What the fuck are you talking about, huh? No, what the fuck are you... I'm not... We're talking about unchecked aggression here. What the fuck is he talking my about? Rug. Forget it, Donnie. You're out of your element. Walter, the Chinaman who peed on my rug. I can't go give him a bill. So what the fuck? Now, it doesn't the Chinaman really just pee on your rug? Let's look at this. Let's step back from this. And and second more, I think that this is the uh, the birthplace of the uh, Discordian religion. It's this bowling alley right here in California. That's another. That's another thing. Let's continue. What the fuck are you talking about? The Chinaman is not the issue here, dude. I'm talking about drawing a line in the sand, dude. Across this line, you do not. Also, dude, Chinaman is not the preferred nomenclature. 
Asian American, please. Walter, this isn't a guy who built the railroads here. This is a guy. Although Walter, being played by a satanic John Goodman. I took the video in to show my dad at this point because um, we were talking about the bowler hats. The Peruvian. I also say it's a Peruvian Bolivian hat. I'm not so sure that Peru shares in with the Bolivian hat. I thought they did. When I see them, I think of those people. That's just, a, that's not racism. That's actually something that stands out and the lady will talk about her culture. And when you look at her emotion that's going on in her face when she says about connected to her roots and to her ancestors, you will notice a good thing. And it's not just that people have lost and are remembering that this ability of all of us is there. It'll start to sound a little like we are the worldly and shit. So I like to put a lot of these pieces together in a different sort of way to sort of, uh, mm, evil can evil jump over that area. That just seems like a fucking bunch of pussy ass bullshit. crybaby shit. Cause that's what we're programmed to, to see as men, a bunch of crybaby bullshit. And that's not actually what's going on. So it's very important for the dark attack the intuitor or the messenger of the systems, the new systems to sort of be able to put some of this shit together and they should be already well, will be about it. Like going there and when I'm looking at it on the TV, they've got lady from Dune is narrating. She's narrating a show about the original polio vaccine. Now you got all these kids in hyperbaric chambers They've got mirrors mounted up where they can see their face and they can present their face before who comes and visit them. That's this fucking screen right here. That's what I see. I see a piece of fucking reflective glass and all these kids lined up in fucking tubes. And who, who what is they saying? Well, the pioneer of the polio vac uh, vaccine is this guy, Salk. Salk. It sounds like almost I was hearing salt. But that's the alchemy at work. Drop the T, add the K. Suck. Retro causality. It goes backwards. And I watched all the kids' faces. They came up to the screen. They just got their vaccine. Now, polio was something to be defeated. The COVID and that shot was the line they crossed in the sand because they went too far. They're giving you this for that and it's not to protect you you have to look and see because then that's when the bartering begins that's when higher self gets into the bartering because there's certain conditions that you won't have to be my condition is in yeah yeah oh yeah so i was listening as i was playing the game to the Mars Rover guys talk what the Mars Rover situation was. And I was seeing this in the environment of the video game. I'm like, okay, the wheel breaks down on the Rover. They've got to be stationary. Now you can turn this little camera around, but they're getting there. You could look with our consciousness, jumping through the video game process, the video game, is the carrier wave because I'm, I'm running around looking at real estate. I'm looking at the furniture. I'm, I'm admittedly not fully playing the game. I'm, I'm looking for clues and putting other things together myself, putting other things together. I mean, it's for us, for all of us. And that's what it is. See, because it started to be everything that I was listening to from frame to frame was exactly what the rover was picking up. They had one that broke down. See, but I saw one. They had this, they've got a weird helicopter that was in the background. Because when you're the mechanic, you can see the outline of a vehicle. They had that flying rover flying around in the video game. And I'm like, well, that's fucked up. <laughs> you know, I can't get that vehicle. <laughs> that's fucked up. 
And when I and then I put the two and two together, I was like, oh, well, then they've got that thing flying around. They've got our consciousness hooked in. Well, let's just let's just upload into that feed. Let's take that source back. So, yeah, you can. You can actually use those same rovers if you know they're there and you listen to the story. You can look at Mars. You don't have to go to Mars. Fuck Mars. We don't want to go to Mars. You really don't have to go anywhere. You can look at any fucking thing you want from right where you're at. But you have to be able to open your sensory data and you got to have some back and forth biofeedback going on. And that's how you tell the video game serves as a biofeedback. It allows you to tie into the thing because you're running around like you're looking around. So it's sort of the same things going on. So this video is like a jumper. It's a jumper cable to that process a little bit for the person that's viewing my videos. And you will see, you will see, you will all see. Uh, his Vietnam veteran is still Californian, and he's using the uh, traditional "let's keep, let's change the language" to, you know, deceive the masses and bullshit people into belief and feelings that aren't really present. We all love each other, and you know, wrong. He's he's a cold blooded killer. Wrong. thought this movie was a strange multi-dimensional doorway and now I know I'm right shut the fuck up Donnie <laughs> my fucking face. I gotta put my face on this one. I almost forgot what I was doing here. I got hold on. Let me come over here. You see this? Hey. Hey, you see this? Look at the switcheroo. Let's do that again. Boing. Oh, hey. What is the special feature found? Bang. Hey. You see David up here? This David's got 714. I like that. Because I was born on 714. In that PM. Not the day. And not, it's not June. We're not talking about July. We're talking about the hour. 7 o'clock. In the evening. Coming through the canal. I subscribe. I'm going to be 715 for David. Congratulations David. David if you could subscribe to me. I too am pushing my numbers. I try to make a better video, make laugh, make laugh funny, make big laugh. No, no big laugh. No big laugh. Get to point. Maybe laugh, maybe not laugh. Okay, I get to point. This is what I want to look up. I got to know about them. I got the fucking name. Whoa, 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 robot. Whoa. My robot's uh, voice is way too loud. I don't know why it arbitrarily will answer me. It just brings it up and it. I go my own way. I go my own way. Yeah, I do my little research. But now it's starting to just yell it at me. I want to know about the hat. Can we try this? He's going to buy the hat. That's not the hat. That's clearly the hat. No, no, no. Wrong. That's not the hat I'm talking about. Oh, no. I don't want the history of fucking Peru. 
That's the hat. This hat. What the fuck? What's up with the hat? This might not even be about the hat. In the Bolivian capital of La Paz, it sometimes feels like you've traveled back in time. Here, fringe shawls and traditional skirts known as polleras are everywhere. But the thing that really catches your eye is the unofficial national symbol of Bolivia, the bowler hat. We wanted to know more about the ins and outs of indigenous fashion, so we went to Bolivia's resident expert, Graciela Tito. Think of her as sort of the Carrie Bradshaw of Bolivia. What? A cook you watch this. Don't be fooled. This lady is going to do the transformation. Week. On weekends, Graciela competes in fashion to celebrate native dress. But notice how she yeah. becomes yeah. more of a cone to be worn to the side, from a pillar. She goes into lower. full grimace it's shape. Centered. It just depends on the woman's taste. If it's gusta, it's gusta. Graciela is what's known as a cholita. What? A cholita is an indigenous woman who adheres to traditional fashion. She says these outfits go back more than 200 years. She says this. When it comes to culture, an indigenous woman is guided by her ancestors. She has to carry the tradition on, year after year, to acknowledge her roots. But this most Bolivian of customs started in, of all places, Europe. No shit. The bowler hat was invented in England some 200 years ago. That's right. It was the indigenous women of Bolivia who gave it their own unique twist. Hold on. The bowler? Hmm. There's something going on with this. You see, I wanted to make a look at this hat. I wanted to know about that. I wanted to start with the Big Lebowski. Room tying it together. This hat is key. This hat is where it's at. I don't know why. I don't know. Now my dad in there. At the end of that long stretchy hallway. It's not a hallway really. He said they, they've been wearing those hats forever. The Spanish didn't bring the hat. I said, well, maybe a, maybe a, you know, like a Spaniard was like blown off course. He had all these hats. He was going to trade them. He was taking them somewhere. Probably taking them to England where they were in fashion hundreds of years later. I, yeah, I don't know. Something, there's something odd about that. I too felt like they've been wearing this hat forever. He picked up on that because of the tree outside assisting. It grew a metaphysical branch through, and it, it, it's asking, we're giving, it give me China berries to shoot out of a slingshot back and forth his thoughts. Yeah, maybe it sounds crazy to you. I just asked the tree if it would uh, help. And the tree said, are you needing help doing telepathy? Are you needing help communicating without all those sounds you make coming out of your head i was like yes tree that's exactly what i need help with I like, I'll, I'll see what i can come up with i'll see what i can help you you humans are strange you're you're moving around all fast i said don't judge me hey whoa 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 don't judge me and, and then so we're having considerations continue we begin a lot of things we finish very few of them but all things are possible. Let's find out about this fucking hat. So here is to perch the hat on top of the head. The balancing act that keeps us from falling off comes from years of practice, or for the less skilled, bobby pins. What? Graciela helped me give it a try. You cheat? There are plenty of stories about how the bowler hat made its way from England all the way to the Andes Mountains. Blown off course. The most popular says that a local merchant, eager to please European workers in Bolivia, ordered a batch, only to find they were too small. Determined not to lose his money, he sold them to native Bolivians. I knew it. Close These enough. Days, most bowlers are made locally, often crafted in the back of small shops. Although it's hard for me to tell the difference, local cholitas like Graciela can spot last year's fashion right away. Boyera style changes every year. Hats in particular go in and out of style based on the height of the hat 
and the width of the brim. Feliciana? The hats on this row here are taller, more oval shaped. This is the trendiest style in 2009. They're taller, and the colors that are popular this year are a bit different too. Cholita dress doesn't come cheap. Wait, 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 hold on. Cholita dress. She was turning around, had her hair down, kind of looked a little attractive. She looked like a lady. She puts all this shit on. Is it, is it there's, is there a cushion in this Lift thing? Because all these women look like they're old and fat. Spaceship. She's probably a library like some sort of protection, protection spell that they place on I'll never on? tell. Because I don't normally see cultures that are completely dog ass ugly. Uh, sometimes I think that I've found one. No, she's got a, don't a judge protective, me. I'm just saying. auric, like fucking Swiss, distortive Swiss thing Sweden going on. Women, the blondes causes, causes her to look different. Hot. We all see Italy, the Italy same got some thing that's babes. different. The Brazilians got some hot ass. What they're babes. doing, I think, is spaceship. Same with different, different sort of uh, features seem to be attractive to different things. Remember. Now, this the Bolivian shit, these are smart ties people. The room together. And you these are smart I'm women. That rug. Whatever it's, they're it's doing, the they're doing it. It's the drapes. It's, it works. But you gotta get, you gotta be careful when you get too close what to What the fuck? Them. Don't ask directly about the fucking hat. She'll fuck you up. Oh my that one god. Will fuck you up. She'll fuck your world up. It's important to keep this tradition alive. She says it makes her feel at her most elegant and her most special. She's a fucking third stage skilled navigator. Hell yeah, she's special. You don't you seen that big ass fucking floating baby that rolls into that throne room? Ooh. She's got some space folding shit going on. But you have to be careful when I like that. dealing with shit like that. It's perceptible. Oh well, you have to well, it takes them in, look at look how they look. They mean mug the shit out of you because they've been abused like animals. I don't Real mean focus. it like they're animals. Correspondent don't editor, get it twisted. Yvette Feliciano. I I don't I don't think she's Italian. Maybe that's a Hispanic name. The fucking twelve D Pleiades. Producers are a uh, better watch out. Air. Don't Ryan fuck with Myers. those people. The Thunderbird on set them up. Remember? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. For the Where sex the we don't have when we don't lust. Producers. It's a horned people. aqua panther. Isn't that special? That the also, Thunderbird fights. Something that comes in from space. Speaking. But I'm, I'm probing with a great sound. A la- light where we a disease. We can take this whole that the Earth over. Thunderbird fights. And we can kick the world's out. It's a All memory. we gotta do is a little pushing. Don't forget. 